Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Hi, teacher. I'm so sorry I was having uh, an issue. That's Good why. Afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you guys? Fine, thank you. All right. Uh, thank you for joining. We're going to start with the class. Uh, just give me a second. I want to pass the tenants. And please help me up as soon as you listen to your name. Say present. Let's begin. Adam Patrice. Present. Thanks. Alexander. Present, teacher. Yeah, and Sylvia. Present. All right. Carolina. Present, teacher. Good. Yeah. Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Lisette. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Jose. Dalia. Present teacher. Good. Dora. Present teacher. Thanks. Enrique Guevara. Hazel. Jeremias. Present, present teacher. Good. Joanna? Present teacher. Very good. Is it Mario? Present teacher. Thanks. Kenya? Present teacher. Very good. Lady? Present. Thank you. Liliana? Present. All right. Marina? Present. Thank you. Ricardo? Present. Thanks. Sandra? I'm here, teacher. All right. Sarai? Present, teacher. Thank you. Soraya? Present, teacher. Nice. Stephanie? Stephanie? Vanessa? Present teacher. All right. Susana? Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana? Present teacher. Good. Leonel? Present. Okay. Laura? Present teacher. Perfect. Alba? Present teacher. Thanks. Eric? Present teacher. Thank you. Michelle? And Edgar? Okay. Well, uh, we're going to start, everybody. Welcome. One more time. Good afternoon. It's sure. nice. Yes, yes. Hello. Claudia, Elizabeth. Yes, teacher. No worries. Uh, yeah, you are in my list. I mentioned your name, but I think you couldn't listen to me. It's okay. No worries. Thank, Thank you. you. Anytime. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, it's nice meeting you guys. This is class number 12. Let me display the presentation. Class number 12. Today is Tuesday, August 10th. And this is the topic for today. Would, verb plus two plus verb. We're going to focus on that today. Okay. Um, you know, at the same time, I want to know if you have any questions about the, the platform and a specific exercise. Are you? I don't know, you have a, a doubt or something that is not clear, please let me know in about the platform. Is everything okay with the platform? No doubt, teacher. Okay, okay. anytime. Anybody else? Questions? No. Preguntas? No questions, teacher. Yo ya terminé la... 
Oh, right. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, if you have finished the platform, that's really good. Thank you. Thank you for your efforts. We appreciate them. And yeah, congratulations. Congratulations because you have done a great job. And yeah, we continue. We keep on here because we are going to um, reinforce some topics that probably you have some doubts, right? And yeah, as questions as, as uh, whenever you want, right? As many questions. And of course, we're going to clarify the doubts. Okay, uh, somebody else? De preguntas con respecto a la forma, un ejercicio. No, no teacher. All right. Yeah, just let me know in case you have any doubts or questions related to the platform uh, and a specific exercise. And of course, I'm going to help you, right? With that. All right, we're going to start. Just let me check it out if. I have the another participant. I think no, right? So we continue. Okay. Uh, like I said before, class number twelve. That is the topic. Would a uh, verb, the verb plus two plus verb. Let's move on. Let's begin. As we said in the previous class, we were having this. Uh, we were practicing with a conversation. We have this form, this construction. Would plus verb plus two and plus verb, right? And we can say because we construct a question. We construct a question talking about invitations, right? As we saw in the previous class, when we make an invitation, we use this construction. Would you? Would would you like? to go out on Friday. So that is an invitation. And we're using that construction. Would you like, would you like to, would you like to plus the infinitive, right? Would you like to plus the verb? Would you like to go out on Friday, right? Would you like to go out on Friday? Okay, so that's an invitation. That's an invitation. We use that construction. As I said in the previous class, right? This is a, a formal way. This is a formal way. Would you like? Would you like to? Um, would you like to go on Friday? So we have different responses. Different responses. We can say yes, I would. 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 Yes, I
we can vary this formula, right? When we are accepting, we're saying yes, yes. Okay. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Or yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Okay. This is for, again, this is for accepting an invitation. Right? On the other hand, we have the negative responses. You refuse or decline the invitation. For example, would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like, again, we follow the formula. Structure, right? We say would plus verb plus do plus verb, and we have a complement, right? Would you like to go to a soccer match? If you want to refuse that invitation, I don't know, because you, you don't want to go or you don't have time, for example, depending on your situation, you can refuse right, that invitation. But of course, you need to be you know, polite, right? You need to, you need to be polite. So you can say, I like to, but I have to work late. That's one possibility. Or you can say, I like to, but I need to save money. Or the last option can be like, I like to, but I want to visit my parents. So here we are refusing the invitation. And we have the second structure, right? The structure for refusing an invitation specifically. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus but plus can accompany that with a compliment. Right. For example, I love to go to your party, but I can't. That's one possibility. Another example can be like, I would like to visit you, but I have to work late. That's another occasion, right? And again, you're refusing an invitation. For example, if I say, would you like to go to a soccer match? So you can say, I like to, but I have to work late. Or I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Right? So this is for refusing. First, we were having accepting. Accepting, right? The invitation. Like I said before, this is for accepting. And of course, we have this example. Would you like to go, go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Uh, yes, I really like to go. And of course, we have here the, the structures that we follow or the structure that we follow for accepting an invitation. Okay. In a second, I just want to verify. I think some of the classmates are here. Hey, Carlos, Jose, good afternoon. Hey, I can see, I think Michelle. Yeah, Michelle, hello. Good afternoon. How are you guys? Teacher. Hello, hello. Um, repeat, please, the pronunciation, the word, or... Oh. Would. I don't know. Would. And the contraction, please. Oh yeah. Good. Yeah, that's, that's another that's another uh, aspect. Yeah. Uh, as you can see here, we have the contraction. We can use the contraction uh, if you want. Most of the times when you use contractions because you're speaking. We use it in the speaking. Uh yeah, the contraction is hide. Hide. I'd, I'd like to go out on Friday. I'd, I'd, I'd. So we have a this sound at the end, I'd. So this equals, I would. I'd, I'd, I'd like to go out on Friday. 
So it varies, it varies because you can have different subjects. For example, like this, kid, kid. So this equals children. With, 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 okay? That's the way we pronounce the contraction. Okay, so this is the topic for today, right? Would plus ver plus two plus ver. We have in these examples. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Those are some positive responses, right? Like I said before, I'm repeating the information because I, you know, I want to reinforce a little bit. I have some, uh, you know, some participants joined us a few minutes ago. And I want to clarify this. Um, first, remember, we have this form. Would you, and we're following this, right? Would plus verb plus two plus verb. And we can say, would you like to go out with on Friday? We have three different ways to, res to respond to this question. First, this is in positive. You can say, yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to, thanks. But you can say, yes, I really love, I really like to go. This is impossible. In other words, you're accepting the invitation. And as you can see, we have this structure over here. This is the structure for accepting an invitation. We have a subject, we have wood, we have a verb, plus two, plus a verb, and a complement at the end. So you can say, I would like to go to the party tonight or I would love to have dinner at six. Those are for accepting. So you say, yes. Yes, I can, or yes, I want. Um, on the other hand, on the other hand, we have the uh, structures, or the structure for refusing an invitation. We have a subject, we have would, plus a verb, plus two, plus verb, plus but, we use comma, I'm sorry, we just come up before but, sorry. But plus, we have a complement. And here we have another example. Would you like to go to a soccer match? You can say, I like to, but I have to work late. So we're following this structure. I like to, but I have to work late. Another possibility can be, I like to, but I need to save money. Or the last possibility, the last action can be, I like to, but I want to be with my parents. Of course, we can have different situations, not only this one, right? It, it varies, it's very, okay? And here we have some other examples. Uh, I'd, I'd love to go to your party, but I can't. Or I would like to be see you, but I have to work late, okay? And the contraction, I'd, I'd, I'd like to go, or I would like to go, okay? Very good, any questions, everybody? Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, the sound, the little D and the contraction is um, is a uh, como hacer el sonido fuerte de la D en la contracción. En la contracción. Yeah, I mean you have the sound at the end, the the D sound. I the, I the, I the, I the. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. You make emphasis on that. Absolutely. Anybody else questions? You know, as, as, as I show you, as I explained yesterday, uh, you have different ways you can respond to this uh, invitations, right? Somebody makes an invitation 
somebody invites us to, to do something. So we can re respond, we can accept that invitation. We can, we have a variety of ways we can respond to that. And the opposite too, right? So we can refuse or decline the invitation. We can say no, right? But we have different ways, different ways, different expressions that we can use, all right? As we saw yesterday, we're gonna put into practice that today because we're going to move on to the following R. We're gonna have some exercises. Uh, but first, I would like to know if you have any questions, guys. Somebody else, preguntas, dudas? So far so good? Okay, perfect, perfect, thank you. Moving on, let's go to the following part. Let me give you some exercises. What I want to do here, guys, you're going to respond to three invitations. This is the first part. Listen, this is the first part. We have some mini dialogues, as you can see. What I want to do, I need you to respond to those three invitations. So that is the first part. Then you have to write three invitations for the given responses. So you have to do the opposite in the second part. This is the second part. From one to three is the first part. So in that, with those exercises, you have to respond to the three invitations. In the second part from four to six, you have to write three invitations for the given responses. So we have the opposites. For example, let me help you with the first one, the number one and number four. Number one, it says, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? I love two things. So here, it's up to you if you want to accept or you want to refuse the invitation. So feel free to do it. What I want to do is to practice and complete them for your own responses. In the first part, right? In the second part, you have to write uh, the invitation, but of course you have to follow the response, right? You have to follow the response. That's what you have to do. For example, number four, the response says, yes, I love to, thank, thank you. So probably, the invitation can be, could we have lunch together one day? Yes, I love to, thank you. So that's what you have to do. You need to do the opposite. Please read the, the, the responses, read the responses, and based on that, you're going to uh, write or create the invitations, okay? I will give you some time, guys, for this uh, exercise, for these exercises. Please, let's complete the your notebooks. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Please read every situation in the first part and in the second part, let's read the responses, okay? Let's go. As soon as you finish, please, let me know. Let me know in the microphone. Any questions, by the way? Follow the examples, follow the examples, and continue with the other ones. Hello, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, yeah tell me. In the contraction, we write uh, I, no sé cómo se dice la, la diéresis oh, eso. that is the apostrophe. Ah, okay. And, and D. Yes. How can we know what are we using? Would? Or cool. Oh, okay, that's a good question. This is a philosophy. Uh, well, we with good with good is not it's not common to see it. It's not common to see the contraction. So most of the times when we when you see this contraction, it's because you're using good. So we don't use a uh, with good in this case the contraction. So this one is for wood. Okay, for could you say I could? 
I could. Teacher, uh, yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, acabo de traducir could y would y significan lo mismo. Eh, ¿Cuándo es que se ocupa would y cuándo se ocupa could? Eh, they are similar. They are similar because you use could and would for requests. Could and would for requests. For example, when you say, could you please open the window? That is the first possibility, right? This is a, a request. Could you please open the window? Or you can say, could you, could you open the window, please? And this is a request. That is a request. It, the difference can be like in it can be with the uses because remember that could could is used for for past habits for past abilities sorry for past abilities okay for example when you say when you say I could when you say I could uh, ride a bike. When I was six years old. So that can be a difference because good is used for possibilities, possibilities. But when we use, when we, when we include or we keep in mind would and could, it's because we may request, like, could you please open the window or would you open the window, please? So those are requests. And again, the difference can be this. So you use could for possibilities. I could ride a bike when I was six years old. So probably in the present, you can't. I can't ride a bike now. So this is in the present. So in the present, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't have that, that, that ability anymore. Esa podría ser la, esa es la diferencia. Ambos se utilizan para, para hacer requests. Pero, could tiene, se utiliza para habilidades en, en pasada, ¿verdad? Habilidades que, es, que se hacían antes, pero que hoy ya no, no probablemente no las hacemos. En Google, Google, this one, in another way, we can use it for past habits. For example, when you say, I would uh, go to the park when I was a child. This is a past habit because you went to the park when you were a kid. I would go to the park when I was a child. That is the difference. It's like when we use, use to. Exactly. Exactly, used to, or you can use would. Yeah. Is it clear? Any questions? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we continue with the exercises, please. I will give you some time in your notebooks, please. I need you to respond to three invitations in the first part from one to three, and from four to six, you're going to write three invitations to those for those given res responses. Okay, let's go. Take your time. As soon as you finish, please let me know. Raise your hands or just let me know in the mic. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here and I can help you.
Teacher? Yes, yes, that it. I have a question. Sure. Okay. Uh, we are with Gerardo. <laughs> we oh, a little yeah. discussion, discussion about this topic. Uh, he told me that we we can use will when our answer is positive. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah. see it. But we can't we can we can answer a negative answer with would. Yeah, you can say no, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. In, in in could can use can be used use in the same way too. Uh, can it be used in negative and in positive answers? Yeah, you can. Like, could you, right? Could you, uh -huh, mira. Could you please op open the window? Yeah. It can be like, yes, I could, or no, I couldn't. Okay. Yeah. And in a, in a, if, if you ask me something with could, I can answer with the verb can, can. Some people use it. Some people, uh, yes, yeah, so you, can, you can include it. You can include, okay. you can say, Yes, I can or no, I can't. But also, that's, yeah. that's right or not, because sometimes we don't speak like, um, we don't speak well. We, we are using sometimes the bad, uh, not, not bad words, no. Bad grammar. Uh -huh, bad, bad grammar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it can be right. It can be right. When, when you say, yes, I can, no, I can't. Most when of the time, when you ask with would and could, we can answer with can, and that's right too. We would not. We would not. Ah, okay. Con we would, no you can say no. You can say just yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. With okay. could, it can be possible. You can say yes. Could you please open the window? Yes, I can, or no, I can. Uh, okay. But if you say would, would you like to go to the party tonight? You cannot say yes, I can, no, I can't. So you say yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Or you can use the different responses, right? Like, yes, I love two things, or of course, sure. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. idea, yes. Thank you. Anytime, anytime. <laughs>
that invitation, I mean, if you make, make that invitation, yeah, I will say, yes, I would. I, I yes, I love too. Of course, it's too hot. You want to make the, the, the invitation or the request, Jose Mario, you can say, uh, would you like, just give me a second, sorry. Would you like, uh, would you like to eat some ice cream? Any ice cream? Yeah, very good. Okay, um, I will start and I will listen to you. You're gonna give me your responses, right? You know, let's imagine that we are having a conversation, uh, we are friends, and yeah, I make an invitation to you, right? So you're going to respond to these invitations, right? The first one, well, that one, that one was given, right, as an example. We will go to number two, okay? Number two says, and I will listen to someone, okay? If you want to participate, help me. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Let's see, I'm going to select someone. Um... Alexander, very good, okay. Alexander, uh, I will make the invitation to you, okay? Help me out. Would you like okay. to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Um, yes, I'd like to. Okay, very good. So you accept my invitation, right? That's good. Okay, Alexander, can you select somebody else? Please? Oh, let's do something. Go to wants to participate. Can you make the invitation to Dora? The same, the same one. The, the same, number, number two. three. Number two, please. Number two, okay. Yeah. Dora, hi Dora, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Hi, I think. Again, Dora, sorry. Hi, I think love Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Dora. That's amazing. Uh, Dora, let's make the invitation number three to Eric, please. Okay. Hi, Eric. Uh, number three, teacher. Yes, number three. Okay. Uh, Ever, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yeah, that's for yes. Eric. Yes, I love to. I I do love to, but I have a study this weekend. Oh, okay. So is Eric accepting or refusing the invitation, guys? Accepting. He is refusing. Okay. He is refusing, yes. He said, I love to, but 
Repeat again, Eric. But I have studied this night, this weekend. Okay, so he has to study this weekend. Yes, so he's re refusing, yes, refusing. Amazing, thank you, Dora. Eric, can you select somebody else, please? Uh, Sandra Melissa. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Dora. Uh, Eric. Thank you, Dora. Eric, you're going to make the invitation number two to Sandra, please. Let's go. Number two. Number two, yes. Okay. Would you, would, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? I, I didn't love to thanks. Repeat again, Sandra. I didn't, I, yeah, I didn't love him to thank. Oh, I'd love to thanks. Repeat again. I'd love to thanks. I'd love to thanks. Okay, yes. Is Sandra accepting, accepting or refusing? Uh, accepto. Yeah, so you're accepting. Very good, accepting. Thank you. Teacher, Sandra. porque ya lo conozco. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Sandra, select somebody else, please. Uh, uh, Adam, Patrice, ya está. No. No, no, not yet. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Let's, let's go with Adam. Uh, Number three, Sandra, make the invitation to Adam. Okay, okay. Uh, Adam, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? I like to, I like to, but I have a meeting this weekend. Okay, yes. So okay, is let's Adam, go. <laughs> is Adam refusing or accepting? What do you think? Refusing. Yeah. Refusing. So he is refusing. He is refusing because he has a meeting. He has a meeting. So very good. So he's busy. All right. Let's go to the second part. Let's go with number four, five, and six. Okay, well, number number four is given, right? Let's go with number five. I'm going to select someone. Let me see. I'm gonna go with um Ana Silvia, please help me out with number five. Um, Make the invitation and I'm I'm going to select somebody else. That person is going to say the response. Let me see, I'm going to select Soraya. Soraya, you will be letter B. So you will respond to Ana Silvia's invitation. Let's go, Ana Silvia, number five. Would you like to go for an ice cream? Yes, very good, Sarah. Thank you, Ana Silvia. That's great. All right. Question, teacher. Oh, yeah, sorry. Eh, pues, se puede contestar solo, digamos, yes, I think. Podría. I don't love things. Perdón, podría eh, hablar un poquito más fuerte. Se lo escucha bien sobre eso, el audio. It, most of the times when we have this kind of a request or invitations, we respond like that. I mean, we say, yes, I love to, yes, I would. Um, it can be possible if you say, yes, I can, but it's not common. So most of the times we we get these responses. We'll say, yes, I would. As we saw yet previously, right? You can say, yes, I would. Yes, I love two things. Yes, I really like to go. You can say, sure, good idea. You can say, of course, mm -hmm. etc. So you have different responses, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no worries, thank you. Okay, let's go with another other participants. Okay, I will select, let me see.
Susana, can you help us please? And I'm gonna go with Alexander, please. Let's go with number six. Uh, Alexander, you're going to make the invitation and Susana is going to respond. Response. Number six. Number six. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I make the question. Uh, would you like to visit Guatepeque Lake? Very good, Susana. The answer? Yes, yes, I it like. Okay, repeat again, Susana. Teacher, yes, I to go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Susana. Uh, repeat again, Susana. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I like to go. Okay, yes, very good. Thank you, Susana. Yeah, if you say uh, like this, Sandra, you can say, let's go, or go ahead. Yeah, let's go. No, like teacher, ¿cómo say... sería que nos invite a todo el grupo para ir allá, Lago de Cuatepe? <laughs> uh, you can say like, invite, invite us, invite us to go. Invite... Yeah, you will can. You can say invite us, invite us to go, or you can say invite all to go. Let's say that way. Okay, listen, we're gonna do the last part. We're gonna do this exercise, uh, you know, in pairs. I'm gonna make a breakout rooms, and I'm gonna give you just five minutes because we, we don't have too much time. What I wanted to do is this. You're going to look at the conversations given. You have to think of things you would like to do and create an example of a mini dialogue by making and reacting to invitations. So you're gonna work in pairs and you have to follow those examples. We had these examples, except they said, I have tickets to the Fast and Furious movie on Friday night, would you like to go? Thanks, I love to, great. And the second example says, we're having a big party in my house next weekend. Would you like to come? Sounds great, but I'm afraid I'm not free. No problem. So in the first one, we're accepting the invitation. The person is accepting the invitation. In the second dialogue, the person is refusing the, the, the invitation, right? So that's what you have to do. This is a mini dialogue, a mini conversation. That's what you have to do. You're gonna work in pairs, okay? Right now you are 27 because, yeah, 27. We're gonna work in, in pairs and I'm gonna have a trio, okay? Teacher, excuse me. Yeah, tell me. Uh, what does mean afraid? Afraid, uh, it's like, come on, the city. Hmm. ¿Cómo es el sentido? Es como decir este. Pero tengo. Es como me temo, ¿verdad, Ticho? Temo, exacto, temo. Estaba pensando en esas palabras, se me había olvidado. Temo que no tengo o no soy libre. Mm. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Sounds great, but I'm afraid I'm not free. Yes. Okay, um, well, we are 25. I think some of the cancers are having some issues. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, en las breaker rooms. Voy a dar solo cinco minutos porque casi es, es la hora. Y quiero que creemos un diálogo similar, ¿verdad? Diálogo corto. Vamos a utilizar, we're gonna make invitations and we're going to give responses, right? We're gonna work in Pairs, so right now, yeah, we're 27 again. I'm gonna have a uh, pairs and I'm gonna have one to you. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms now. Please take a screenshot of the conversations. Let me see, you are 27. So I'm gonna have, let me see, 13 groups.
Okay, we're gonna go like this. Listen, Ana Silvia with Katiana, Alexander with Liliana, Enrique with Ricardo, Jeremias, oh, I'm gonna move Jeremias because it's a lot. Claudia Lisette with Kenya. Jose Mario Teacher, with Soraya. I'm here. Okay, okay, thanks. Claudio Lisette with Kenya. Jose Mario with Soraya. Dalia with Marina. Eric with Leonel. Carlos with Susana. Claudia Elizabeth with Michelle. Sandra Melissa with Sarai. Carolina with Vanessa. Adam Patrice with Dora Alicia. Bueno, veo que algunas están desconectando, pero que tienen dificultades ahorita. Mm. Okay, like to do and create an example of a mini dialogue by making. Y veamos cómo podemos hacerla con la actividad porque veo que están teniendo problemas algunos. Creo que vamos a hacer algo diferente. Yo creo que se están desconectando algunos. Um, Vamos a trabajar de esa manera. Por favor, tomemos, tomemos nota con qué vamos a trabajar. Eh, Ana Silvia, repito, con Tatiana. Alexander empezaba con otro participante, pero se desconectó. Voy a esperar a que se una. Enrique con Ricardo. Claudia Lisset with Kenia. José Mario with Soraya. Dalia with Marina. Eh, Eric está solo ahorita. Carlos José with Susana, Claudia Elizabeth with Michelle, Sandra with Sarai, Carolina with Vanessa, and Adam Patrice with Dora. Vamos a trabajar de esa manera. Vamos a hacer algo diferente. Eh, bueno, veo que varios han tenido problemas. Se nos va a ser difícil hacerla, el trabajar en pareja. Vamos a hacer una cosita mejor. Vamos a, voy a asignarles esto como de otra manera porque estamos teniendo problemas con algunos participantes, creo que tienen problemas de conexión. No vamos a poder hacer los breaker rooms, pero sí lo vamos a asignar de otra manera. Eh, quiero que creemos esa min, ese mini diálogo o mini conversación, sigamos los ejemplos, y lo vamos a hacer vía WhatsApp. Eh, quiero que se pongan en contacto con su, con su compañero. Eh, les mencionaba las parejas, ¿verdad? Acá. Pero, pero creo que algunos están en una dificultad, repito, y están conectados. Eh, quiero que trabajemos en pareja, así es que quizás le voy a dejar, a, voy a mencionar nuevamente las, las parejas que tengo acá. Y voy a unir a algunos quizás. Ok, voy a dejar a Alexander con Ana Silvia. Enrique with Jeremías. Tomemos nota. Alexander with Ana Silvia. Enrique with Jeremías. Claudia Lisset with Kenia. José Mario with Soraya. Dalia with Marina. Eric, ya lo voy a ver con quién lo, con quién lo pongo en pareja. Carlos José with Susana. Claudia Lisa with Michelle. Sandra with Sarai. Carolina with Vanessa. Adam with Dora. Vamos a tomar nota con quién vamos a trabajar. Eric o se va a trabajar con, con dos compañeros más. Vamos a dejarlo en tríos. Eric o se va a trabajar con Carlos, José y con Susana. Tres, tres. Ok, tomemos nota. Los que estamos acá ahorita, los demás, voy a, a pedirles que si, si pueden ustedes incluir a sus compañeros, está bien a los que se desconectaron, ¿verdad? Por el problema que tienen ahorita. Y vamos a dejarlo así. Vamos a trabajar eh, por medio de WhatsApp para hacer la conversación. Eh, lo que podemos hacer, porque sé que me podrán decir, pero no tengo el contacto de mi compañero, porque me puso en pareja, y podemos escribir en el, en el grupo WhatsApp, escribir su nombre o preguntar por su compañero y pues así como se van a poder comunicar, ¿verdad? Es que vamos a trabajar que en este ejercicio de esa manera, porque no podemos hacerlo con los Rooms, porque algunos están 
los está sacando, me imagino, por, por el mismo problema de conexión, se están saliendo. Eh, pero bueno, espero que se puedan recuperar aquí otra vez. Eh, lo vamos a hacer de esta manera, repito, por el problema que estamos viendo ahorita, ¿verdad? de conexión. Eh, I need you to follow these examples, many dialogues, many conversations, and you have to make invitations and react to those invitations, right? That's what you have to do. Oh, 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 okay, I got you, Enrique. Okay, we're gonna make some changes. Enrique, you're gonna work with Michelle. It's okay. Para que se les haga más fácil. Enrique with Michelle. And Claudia Elizabeth with Jeremias. Perdón. Perdón por el cambio. Pero si es así, creo que se hace más fácil. ¿verdad? Así es que por eso es el cambio. Claudia, repito el cambio. Claudia Elizabeth with Jeremias. Claudia Elizabeth with Jeremias. And Enrique with Michelle. De esa manera vamos a trabajar, ¿ok? No sé si hay dudas, chicos. Perdón. No sé si hay dudas, perdón. Any questions? Doubts? Preguntas, dudas? No, teacher, no, yo no tengo preguntas. Ok, ok. ¿Los demás preguntas? Ok, perdón, no, perdón, no pudimos hacer la, la actividad como la tenía predestinada, fue porque eh, algunos creo que tienen problemas ahorita de conexión, entonces estaban saliendo, se hace, se hace bien difícil, perdón, porque a veces se quedan solos, estamos, más estamos en pareja, pero se quedan solos, entonces se hace bien difícil, por eso no pudimos hacer la actividad. Y espero que en clases más adelante, ¿verdad? en otras clases, podamos hacer las actividades de esa forma, ¿verdad? En los breaker rooms. Vamos a hacer de esa forma vía WhatsApp. Por favor, vamos a seguir los ejemplos. Remember, look at the conversations given. Think of things you would like to do and create an example of a mini dialogue by making and reacting to invitations. We have two examples that you can follow. You have to make just one, but if you want to make two, it's okay. It's okay. But only one, right? So you have to follow these mini dialogues and construct or create your own example. Number one says, I have tickets to the Fast and Furious movie on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love too. Great. Second example, we're having a big party in my house next weekend. Would you like to come? Sounds great, but I'm afraid I'm not free. No problem. Okay, so follow those examples and create your own example. That's it. Uh, I will ask you to send your example, your mini dialogue in the WhatsApp group, please, as soon as you finished. Les voy a solicitar, voy a pedir de favor que cuando hayan hecho su, su mini conversación, la puedan compartir en el grupo, please, grupo de WhatsApp, para poder ver su ejemplo. Lamentablemente no vamos a poder hacerlo acá, ¿verdad? Por el tiempo, me hubiera gustado que ustedes hubieran, eh, pues, compart hubieran compartido su, su ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pero ya se nos agotó el tiempo, así es que vamos a quedar hasta acá. No sé si hay preguntas. Thank you, Saraya. Anybody else? No, yeah, take, take, a, take a screenshot. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you too. Take a screenshot of the, the, the conversations, please. Yeah, sorry. Teacher, and if we need a uh, notebook. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Carolina, first. Va a ser escrito y le mandamos la, la captura. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Gracias. Enrique, you're welcome, Enrique. And if we did the conversation in a notebook. Yeah, you can do in your notebook or you can do it in a Word document if you want. And you can just, you can send me just a screenshot. Yeah. 
Okay. No worries. Podemos hacerlo en el cuaderno. Podemos hacerlo si estamos en una computadora en Word. It's okay. Solo me envían captura, me envían foto. No sé, es cosa. Sí, quiero. ¿Y eso, José Mario? Este, la conversación puede ser de lo que nosotros queramos platicar, yeah. conversar. Yes. Yeah, that's why, that's why in the instruction says, think of things you would like to do and create an example of a mini dialogue by making a reactive invitation. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Claro, tiene que ser con respecto a, a situaciones o cosas que ustedes que les gustaría hacer. No se canso. Le, con respecto a la invitación que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Digamos los ejemplos y con base en los ejemplos vamos a crear nuestro ejemplo. Tiene que ser un mini dialogue. Solamente eso. ¿Ok? Y before to go, any questions? Everything is good? Everything is clear? No question, teacher. Thanks. Ok, listen up. Eh, nuevamente, nuevamente, uh, lo último antes de finalizar, el recordatorio, ¿verdad? No olvidemos seguir trabajando en la plataforma. Eh, si hemos terminado, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Gracias. Eh, gracias por su esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Se, se aprecia mucho. Y para los demás también, sé que estamos haciendo un esfuerzo, eh, los que nos hemos... Vamos al día, los que nos hemos atrasado, sé que estamos trabajando bastante, estamos completando las actividades poco a poco. Eso es muy bueno, se aprecia mucho su esfuerzo y su, su ganas de aprender, ¿verdad? sus ganas de mejorar mucho más. Es que sigamos así, sigamos completando la plataforma, cualquier cosa, cualquier pregunta, duda, lo que deseamos, estamos a la orden, no se nos olvide. Es que vamos a estar ahí disponible, cualquier cosa, no se nos olvide, ¿ok? Es que a completar, recuerden que ese próximo lunes tiene que, repito, tiene que estar completo todo. Forma y el final exam. ¿Ok? Entonces es que hago nuevamente el decoratorio y pues estaría todo. We're going to finish right here, guys, because six time. Uh, thank you so much for your time, everybody. We will continue tomorrow with more uh, things, a uh, new class. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe. Blessings to you and your families. Like I'll see you teacher. tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Anytime. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Sure. Bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Sure. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, secretary.